Welcome back to Frugal It Out. Today is a birthday edition. Brightly is turning 10 years old. Brightly is Amy's daughter. And we, I got to live out my little girl birthday party dreams this week. Uh, we made a little campsite, I guess, for the girls. We made them each a little tent, teepee, I don't know. I guess it's more of a tent than it is a teepee. Um, and then just kind of very cute, adorable golden white. It's so simple. It is. Golden white. So uh, we will teach you how to make the little tents. This was very frugal. All the wood came from my shed, my magical shed. Uh, the white stuff are old curtains I had in the basement. Um, they don't even have to be old cur curtains. If you really want to be cheap, just take down if you have curtains. <laughs> take down your curtains and use them and then put them back up. Uh, we, there was no sewing that we had to do. We just used push pins in them. So mm -hmm. it's not gonna ruin your, your curtains if you wanna use them. And we got eye masks and slippers off of, and pillowcases off of Amazon for super cheap and bold. They came in like 12 packs. Um, so those are gonna be the party favors. I bought marker, fabric markers and a little glow in the dark marker so they can decorate that. Uh, this right here, we're gonna put a TV right here and they're gonna watch The Princess Bride. And we also have like a sleepover party game that grandma's giving Briley uh, that just makes them do silly things and ask questions. So it's gonna be fun. We got all our decorations from either Target or Dollar General. Dollar General. Yeah. Those were our two places. Man, Target home run on the gold mm -hmm. birthday decorations that were cute. Also, this banner back here is a combination of two banners at Target. One was just plain white and gold. The, the one over the mirror. We'll do a close up so you can see exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. And then we cut out gold letters from a different banner and just glued them on that. Isn't that great? So I think that's it. Yeah, all the decorations came from Target, except, oh, I guess we got the gold plates and napkins and stuff like that from Dollar General. Mm -hmm. But And then the green, the little wreaths that you see right here. Yeah. Uh, Carissa made those. It was like a string of greenery in the dollar section. Uh huh. She cut that up, made wreaths, and then the little chalkboards were from oh, yeah. Dollar General. I forgot about those. And Briley will get to write her little friend's names on there. So this is not the final final yet because we have helium balloons that need to be blown up and food that we'll put in here. And then we'll also have some footage of some girls running around. I might pop in just to live my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Carissa will be tent number eight. <laughs> Only a boy mom. Like I have no girls, <laughs> just boys. So Briley is my adopted little daughter. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Let's go back to the beginning on how we built these tents. Here we go. All right, so we're out in Amy's shed for the magical shed. Magical that shed gives gifts to everyone for free, <laughs> and she has all of this wonderful wood. Wonderful. Ah! I'm pretty sure. It was cold out because it's kind of wonky, but it doesn't matter for this project. No. For each little tent that we're making, we have um, eight feet long wood planks. And so we're just cutting two of them in half and then to make an A-frame so that we have two A-frames. And then we have 28 inches for the bottom. Because that just worked with our curtains I already had holding the half. Right. So, so it'll come out looking like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, little chicken. Oh my god. They look so bad, they're molting right now. What's that mean? If they lose their feathers and grow new ones. Oh. It's, it's a stupid time to do it. That's really cold. It's Pretty winter. Cold. That's silly. If you're wondering what Carissa is doing while I'm cutting, she's using the concrete as sandpaper because it's a lot faster than sandpaper to get the rough edges off. So two, I was thinking one, two. Mm -hmm. Is this long? Huh. Oh, yes they are. <laughs> we'll just have to hammer them so it flats, flattens them out. Oh, or they have shorter ones. I got my battery. I don't. Now. <laughs> this is genius. Using the brain I gave you. <sighs> what happened? 
Oh, I had a blink. I shot a blink. <laughs> In fact, my cousin shot a nail through his hand. Yeah, I've heard these things, and mm -hmm. that's why I don't want that to happen. Whoa, my thumb's there. I know, I need for you to move it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Did a nail come out? Swing and a miss. No. no. Take the darn battery out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this just needs to come back down and lock it out. It oh, like... in the very back. I didn't get it back far enough. Wait. This part should not be on the video. We'll see how unskilled we are. <laughs> and how <laughs> anyone can do this. <laughs> we are professionals. <laughs> So here's the contraption that we made. So if you can see, we have like our first A-frame that we had that we made on the bottom. So that's like our guide. So we're doing making all our other A-frames based on this. We just line it up. And then we put on top this piece of wood and this piece of wood. Because we found that the long staples just hold better than the shorter ones, and then we just nail, um, hammer the back the loose ends in the back that are sticking out. We just hammer them flat. But then this way you can set your piece of wood on there um, without it wobbling so much. Okay, so do you see how I have my piece I made the nail? I just set it right on top of there. It lines up. We're good to go. done and I have all my a-frames completed now I just have to attach them together but it just looks so cool like that oh my gosh I can't wait to put them together here we go all right today we are headed out to go <laughs> we're eating pizza for breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> it's, breakfast the best on it's cold that's my favorite kind of pizza um, but we're going to find decorations for Briley, which is Amy's daughter. She's having her 10th birthday and she's having a slumber party this weekend, right? Yeah, Friday. Yeah. First one ever. She's a brave mama. <laughs> Six to I'm 10 gonna, girls. She might be more worried. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> hey, what are you doing Friday night? <laughs> can Jamie stay with the kids and you can spend the night? My husband's gonna be out of town. Oh, how long yes. did her? We wrapped her party game. Mm-hmm. And then like set this on top. Maybe get a discount because it's like oh, okay. broken. Yes. Like, wouldn't that be kind of cute? That would be cute. It's like a stack of presents. Yeah. Um or they have this bag instead, but I think I think the box is cuter. Yeah. Sure. Like, yeah. And then this cute too. On top of it, which probably feels better. Mm. No, yeah, I like the white of it. So for Riley's birthday, the decorations, we'll show you guys when we get back, but we made teepees um, for all the girls to spend the night in. Um, and so these little cafe lights, we're gonna string. Yes, we're randomly sitting in the middle of Target. <laughs> but we're gonna string these um, along each of the teepees. Pits. Pits. Yeah. yeah, to connect them. Okay. Yeah. And then we have this garland, which is like Christmas, but it's stars. Um, and we will put that with the lights, right? Is that what we decided? Yes. Okay. So these are yes. Yes. They're cute. We'll put those on a wall somewhere down. Okay. And then silverware for them. So that's that. We have plates and napkins we got from Dollar General. And those adorable Tall candles. candles. They're so cute. We got little uh, name plates that are little tiny chalkboards that we're going to attach to the tent. And then we thought we would use this greenery to put behind it. Um, We'll have to just like cut it up. Yeah. Oh, but, cut it up. Yeah. Yeah, when everybody gets a little spurt. Exactly. Yeah. We've been a little wreath around the chalkboard. Like a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe not wreath, but like. So we have these little spurts. Perfect. Yeah. And just add on to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. to put these two 
together somehow. That one. Let's see what Walmart has to do with letters. We're good. Okay. 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 Peace out from Walmart. Before. I've never bought balloons, so this is first. I got my balloons! They're so cute! I'm excited how they turned out. Um, I was gonna go to Walmart and get donuts because my dog ate the first batch. Thank you, Cooper. You all know Cooper. Uh, but they were like, no, you need to go straight home because the cold air in the car or something. So, whatever. I'm gonna go home. Um, and these like latex ones, I'm glad I got them because they're really cute, but they only last like six hours. So we're like, it's like five hours till the party. Oh well, they'll be fine. It is finally finished. Ooh. Riley's first sleepover. She will be 10 years old. Everybody's got a little pillow and slippers and an eye mask they'll get to decorate. I've glow in the dark fabric markers and regular fabric markers. And then also her favorite food is sushi and deviled eggs and candy. We'll have popcorn and pizza. And then also over here, I moved all the couches against the wall. They're gonna watch The Princess Bride and we have we Michael Jackson just dance and Disney just dance. So I think they're gonna have so much fun. I am just so excited. Oh my goodness. It turned out just so much better than I thought it would. The teepees were pretty easy. It was time consuming, but nothing crazy and totally in budget. Um, everything was absolutely affordable. Except the balloons, what the heck? Balloons are like $20 to buy them and get them inflated. <laughs> now I know. You ready, Cooper, for a party? You're gonna be tied up the whole time. This is what an excited kid looks like. <laughs> Getting off the bus. <laughs> Running to her birthday party. <laughs> Aww. Thank you for watching another episode of Frugal It Out Birthday Edition. Happy birthday, Riley. I hope that you love this. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe if you have yet to do so. And turn on notification bells so you know exactly when, to post, when we post new videos. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye!